we're back at it with another installment of our Top 100 Video Game Countdown list. Today is number 50 through 41. Let's get to it. Number 50, Unreal Tournament. Unreal Tournament is the ultimate adrenaline-fueled battle royale extravaganza that puts your skills to the test in a never-ending onslaught of heart-pumping action. At the time, there had never been such an incredible array of weapons available to use in a first-person shooter. And rather than just mowing down your enemies, Unreal Tournament introduced and encouraged the use of tactics. From the sci-fi landscapes of the future to the gritty urban jungles of the present, Unreal Tournament transported us to a world where the only rule is survival of the fittest, and the toughest and most cunning warrior always comes out on top. And make no mistake, that was, that was me. Denied. Number 49. Book of Unwritten Tales. Wacky wizards, outrageous orcs, and hilarious hobbits. With its zany cast of characters and off-the-wall humor, this game will have you laughing so hard you'll forget you're on a quest to save the world from certain doom. Whether you're battling evil or solving a puzzle that's more twisted than a pretzel, the Book of Unwritten Tales will keep you on your toes. With its stunning graphics and incredible dialogue, you'll get lost in this game. Or at least I did. But then again, I'm terrible with directions. Number 48. Broken Sword 5 Broken Sword 5 is an epic adventure that takes you, once again, on a globe-trotting journey filled with mystery, danger, and religious intrigue. George and Nico are back, as is the hand-drawn backgrounds, and yet another conspiracy that threatens to shake the very foundations of civilization. Spoiler alert, once again they save the day. Not, not bad for a guy who walks around with a pair of red panties in his pocket. Number 47, A Link to the Past. Journey back in time to the land of Hyrule, where a young hero with really questionable fashion sense embarks on an epic quest to rescue Princess Zelda from the clutches of the evil wizard Ganon. Armed with nothing but his trusty sword and a strange affinity for smashing pottery, our hero, Link, must brave treacherous dungeons, battle fearsome creatures, and travel between two different dimensions in order to save the day. You'll meet fun characters along the way, including a talking tree, a magical frog, and a really angry chicken that will attack you if you get too close. So grab your green tunic, pointy hat, and emulator, and get ready to head back to the past. Number 46, Super Smash Melee. Get your friends together and super smash the crap out of them. In game, well, let, let's be clear, you, you must only beat them in game, if you can. Melee is a battle royale featuring all the badasses like Donkey Kong, Bowser, Captain Falcon, and uh, Jigglypuff? You'll have Pokeballs, hammers, some lightsaber-like things, and, and all sorts of power-ups to help you do the job. And then, of course, you've got the smash. P.S. My guy is Falcon, baby, and I always dress him in all pink because nothing is more insulting than getting Falcon kicked by a guy wearing pink spandex. Number 45. Soul Calibur 2. Soul Calibur 2 is a pulse-pounding fighting game that pits some of the deadliest warriors in history up against other deadly warriors in history. Huh? In a quest for ultimate supremacy. With its fluid combat system, breathtaking visuals, and pulse-pounding soundtrack, Soul Calibur 2 is a masterpiece of the fighting game genre. As you take control of your favorite character, you'll unleash a dizzying array of sword strikes, kicks, and special moves that will leave your opponents reeling mostly just battered from Kalik's bow staff because Kalik was my dude. Dreamcast, baby. Soul Calibur 2 on the Dreamcast was my jam. Nostalgia. Number 44. The Pandora Directive. The Pandora Directive is a device. No, it's a video game. It, it's a video game about a device known as the Pandora Directive. 1996 gave us the best Tex Murphy game and one of the greatest adventure games of all time. 
the cult classic game is known for its complex storyline, engaging characters, and challenging puzzles. Number 43. Lord of the Rings Online Lord of the Rings Online, or Lotro, is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game based on the popular fantasy novels of J.R.R. Tolkien. One of four MMORPGs on this list, Lotro offers a wide range of side quests, crafting, and player housing. The game also offers a strong emphasis on storytelling, with many of the quests and events being based on events and characters directly from the book. It's known for its beautiful and immersive environments, excellent soundtrack, and faithful recreation to the world of Middle-earth. The game has a dedicated fan base and is regularly updating with new content and expansions. Still going strong in 2023. Number 42. The Longest Journey The Longest Journey is Funcom's answer to the idea that the point-and-click adventure game genre was dying in 1999. It follows the story of a young art student named April Ryan who discovers that she's a shifter, someone with the ability to move between parallel worlds. Its captivating themes revolve around the balance between science and magic and the importance of making choices that affect the fate of both worlds. And these worlds are awesome. Incredible world building, strong characters, and a captivating story that does not let up. Number 41, Privateer. Oh man, Privateer. I can't believe that it's only 41 on my list. This is a testament to how strong the top 40 is. I lost so much time as a child, but that's okay. I can honestly say that playing this game went a long way to helping me understand economics, specifically how to make a buck, buying low, selling high, and that's what you do in Privateer. Well, that's the part that I specifically enjoyed the most. It's an open world space combat game from the Wing Commander family. The combat was a huge leap. As the player progresses, they can upgrade their ships with better weapons, shields, engines, and other equipment to improve its performance. The game features a branching storyline with multiple factions and characters, each with their own interests and agendas. Privateer was well received for its open world gameplay, immersive atmosphere, and detailed graphics for the time. It's been regarded as a classic of the space simulation genre and has spawned several sequels and spin offs. Did you know that Raph Koster was in development of a Privateer MMORPG before he left to create Star Wars Galaxies? <laughs> That's it. That's number 50 through 41. This is my personal opinion, of course. Thanks for viewing. I want to hear from you. Do you think that these were too high, too low, just right? L let me know in the comments section. I am Joshua, formerly known as Weird Gaming Adventure, now known as Adventure Game Hotspot because of my website. You, you, you might like it. Daily Adventure Game goodness. You know, thanks again. Th thanks again. Even though I don't go by Weird Gaming Adventure any longer, I still love you in a weird way. See you in the next video, my friends.